The modern world was built, in many ways, on the destruction of what came before. Wars have been waged for centuries across the globe, between nations intent on domination and conquest. In many of these cases, battles were decided by epic sieges that, in some cases, lasted for years. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 of the most epic sieges in history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Also, come join us in Discord. We have lots of conversations there. We have Discord. No, wait, don't. Uh, anyway, <laughs> with all that out of the way, let's go siege the day. Go Bucks. Twenty-five, Siege of Vienna In 1683, the Ottomans waged war against Vienna and the Holy Roman Emperor Leopold I for about three months. The Ottomans had broken through outer fortifications and were in the process of tunneling under Vienna's walls, even though the Emperor had already fled the city. Vienna might have fallen had Pope Innocent XI not enlisted aid from a wide range of armies, including forces from Poland, Germany, Bavaria, and Saxony. The reinforcements routed the Ottomans, killing or taking them prisoner. The loss was a crushing blow for the Ottoman Empire and marked a turn in their powerful hold on Europe. 24. Great Siege of Gibraltar You know a siege has to be impressive if history remembers it as the Great Siege. The Great Siege of Gibraltar happened when France and Spain decided to capitalize on the Revolutionary War by taking a shot at Great Britain while the forces were distracted in America. Technically, joining the American side, France and Spain conspired to take the island of Gibraltar, which had been a key naval stronghold for England. They set up a blockade while infantry forces set up on land. Gibraltar had a force of 5,000 men, and Spain and France hoped to starve them out. But give England credit. They know how to go to war. Twice, the British Navy broke through the blockade to resupply Gibraltar, while their forces managed to do serious damage to the attackers from their fortified position. It was nearly four years after it started that France and Spain had to retreat in defeat. 23. Siege of Troy Maybe one of the most well-known wars in history, despite being seriously steeped in fiction as well, the Siege of Troy was famously detailed in Homer's Iliad. This is the story that gave us the legend of Achilles and also the Trojan horse. The story goes that Paris, Prince of Troy, kidnapped Helen from Sparta and took her back home. Her husband assembled an absolute all-stars of war with the invulnerable hero Achilles, King Agamemnon, and the unbeatable Ajax to get her back. The Greeks couldn't get past the Trojan walls, so they pretended to retreat, left a giant horse as a peace offering, and when the Trojans took it in the walls, Greek warriors leapt out and opened the gates. While long thought totally fictitious, archaeologists have found the place where they believe Troy once stood. 22. The Fall of Philadelphia before America had a Philadelphia, there were several in Europe and Asia. The city of Al-Sahir in modern Turkey was once Philadelphia, and in 1390, the Byzantine Emperor Bayezid decided to wage war on the neutral city. It was the only city left in Asia Minor that was both Christian and Byzantine, a final holdout that the Ottoman Empire wanted. The emperor, along with two fellow emperors of Byzantium riding with Turkish forces, came to Philadelphia some years after it was supposed to have surrendered to the Ottomans and forced it to yield. Did you know that Constantine was... No, wait. Istanbul was once Constantinople. <laughs> I messed that up. Istanbul was once Constantinople. What? Istanbul was Constantinople. No, it's just... Oh, it was one... I was... <sighs> you know what I meant. Been a long time gone. 21. Siege of Jerusalem For a time during the Crusades, and specifically in 1099, the city of Jerusalem was in the control of the Fatimids, a group of Muslims who sought control of the Muslim world. An army of Christians at the end of the First Crusade, limited in number and resources, set up camp outside Jerusalem and began a siege. The city was confident in its ability to hold out and was expecting reinforcements, but Christian forces arrived first. Siege weapons and towers were built, and eventually the city fell. 20. The Alamo You can't discuss a siege and not mention the most famous siege in American history, the Alamo. Before Texas was part of the US, it was part of Mexico. Texas wanted to become its own country, oh, that rings a bell, and Mexico wasn't happy about it. Mexican soldiers were sent to the Alamo, an old mission that had been fortified as a fortress and was occupied by 150 Texas soldiers. 
The Texans refused to surrender and called for aid. The siege lasted just 13 days, and though some help came, a large force was unable to arrive in time. The Alamo fell, but it served as an inspirational tale of heroism for Texans and Americans thereafter. 19. The Siege of Rhodes Most people today know Rhodes from one thing, and that's if they know it at all. The Colossus, which was built with metal abandoned by the armies of an earlier siege. But the Ottomans had a real hankering to take control of the island and had tried unsuccessfully in the past before the Siege of 1522. Strategically, it would have been an invaluable asset for the Ottomans in the Mediterranean. A force of 300 ships and 75,000 soldiers attacked the island. Though the Ottomans made some headway, the forces inside the walls were resilient. The siege began in June and lasted until December, when Rhodes finally surrendered to prevent further loss of life. Though it was an Ottoman victory, they lost eight times as many men. 18. Siege of Kaffa The Mongol Siege of Kaffa is a standout in the history of warfare. It took place in the year 1345, and it was the first time in history that biological warfare had been used as a tool of war. The city had already fought off the Mongol hordes just two years earlier, so when they attacked again, they thought they might have been prepared. The first siege came as a result of a seemingly simple dispute. Christians and Muslims in a neighboring town had fought, and a Muslim was killed. The Christians fled to Kaffa. The Mongols, chiefly Muslim, came to punish the criminals, but Kaffa refused. They held off the Mongols, who suffered great losses. Bitter at his defeat, Mongol leader Johnny Beg devised a new plan when he returned. His men were dying from plague, so he loaded their corpses onto catapults and hurled them into the city, infecting Kaffa as well. It's unknown how many people the infected who fled may have killed as a result. 17. The Battle of Alicia Alicia was located near present-day Alessandrin in France. Julius Caesar himself laid siege to the city in the year 52 BCE in an effort to find the Gallic general Vassangetarix and his 80,000 troops. In the twist on the idea of a siege, Caesar had his men build walls around the city so no one could get in or out. The effort worked, and he suppressed the would-be revolt against Rome. 16. Siege of Orleans The Siege of Orleans was a major event in the Hundred Years' War, and a massive part of the legend of Joan of Arc. This was her first military victory, and the beginning of a story that endures to this day. Orleans was a strategic and symbolic outpost, and there was a fear if it fell, France would fall. The English were making headway, and for months they had been beating the defenders down. And then, Joan of Arc showed up, and in nine days, the battle was over when the English were defeated. 15. Siege of Syracuse During the Second Punic War, the two-year siege of Syracuse took place from 214 to 212 BCE. Romans took the city of Syracuse and even killed noted mathematician and inventor Archimedes in the process. Not often you hear about a siege killing historical figures who weren't technically military. Syracuse, once loyal to Rome, switched to Carthage under the rule of a new leader, and Rome was uh, not amused. Rome attacked by sea, and Archimedes used his knowledge to devise numerous creative defenses, like a massive crane to drag ships from the water, and allegedly his famous sun ray, which was a giant mirror to focus the beams of the sun, which Mythbusters busted. The siege ended when Romans sneaked in during a holiday festival to open the gates. 14. Fall of Constantinople Constantinople and the Byzantine Empire fell in 1453 after a 55-day siege at the hands of Ottoman forces. The once powerful city had been on a steady decline for years, and when the Ottoman armies arrived with a powerful battery of cannons, they were able to pummel the city from land and sea until the ancient walls finally fell. 13. Siege of Antwerp in 1584, Spanish General Alexander Farnese started what would be a year-long siege of the city of Antwerp in an attempt to control the Netherlands. A massive network of forts, bridges, and blockades were used to cut the city off from any reinforcements. Any inroads the Dutch made were quickly countered by the Spanish. In the end, the city fell, and those who refused to convert to Catholicism fled. 12. Great Siege of Malta Another siege remembered historically as Great, and the Siege of Malta took place in 1565. Remember the Siege of Rhodes? Malta is where their defenders went after they surrendered, and, well, the Ottomans followed. The Knights of Malta had been expecting the Ottomans literally for years, which is why the place was so well defended when it finally happened. Confusion and division among the Ottoman forces led to bad choices and multiple losses. 
At one point, they even retreated after mistakenly believing a larger force was attacking when it was not. In the end, after several months, the Ottoman forces retreated, having lost tens of thousands of troops in a defeat that permanently weakened their position. 11. Fall of Tenochtitlan Tenochtitlan was once the capital of the Aztec Empire and is now the center of Mexico City. In 1521, Cortes and Spanish forces laid siege to the city for nearly a hundred days until they had destroyed the defenders with a mix of advanced weaponry and smallpox. The Aztec Empire fell and Spanish rule spread. 10. Siege of Wei. The Siege of Wei lasted 10 years, from 405 until 396 BCE, and saw Roman forces taking on the Etruscan city of Wei, which today is a village called Isola Farnese, about 10 miles from Rome. Back in the day, however, Wei and Rome were bitter rivals and had gone to war several times. The history of the siege is sketchy at best, since it was only written about 100 years after it happened but it's believed that numerous Roman leaders took over the siege at different times, and Rome was even involved in different wars over the decade. The siege was maybe just a simple blockade at some points, making it oddly significant in how lazy the whole affair seemed. 9. Siege of Candia One of history's longest sieges. It took 21 years for Candia to give in. Though tensions between the Ottomans and Venice had been ongoing, when some Venetian knights raided Ottoman ships and fled to Candia, events came to a head. Located on an island, Candia was a strategic location and well fortified. Even the 60,000 Ottoman soldiers who arrived couldn't take it right away. But well, persistence pays off, even if it takes decades. 21 years after it began, and at a cost of numerous lives on both sides, not to mention gold, the walls finally fell. 8. Siege of Tyre It was the year 332. And Alexander the Great had already more than proven himself in battle as he extended his work of conquest. He met with leaders of the island of Tyre, off the coast of Lebanon, and said he'd like to go there to make an offering to Heracles, which no one in Tyre believed was anything other than a ruse to take the island. The people of Tyre had no fear of Alexander, since they were on a fortified island. Still, they cautiously evacuated the women and children, leaving 40,000 behind to defend against Alexander. He sent envoys asking for surrender, and Tyre threw their bodies into the sea. Alexander was unamused. In one of the most clever military tactics of the age, Alexander had his men build a massive bridge to the island so that he didn't need to match their naval might. Instead, he rolled siege weapons onto the bridge and bombarded Tyre from afar while bringing in over 200 of his own ships. With both land and sea forces at their door, Tyre fell quickly. 7. Siege of Carthage as part of the Third Punic War, the Roman Siege of Carthage was a bloody and vengeful act instigated by a Roman thirst for revenge from a previous war and also inspired by the desire to claim Carthaginian lands. Carthage's 60-foot walls had made attacking the city an apparent impossibility for most armies, but the Romans were very persistent. They surrounded the city, and the siege lasted a remarkable three years. It's said that nearly everyone in Carthage joined the fight and even women cut their hair to make rope for catapults. The Romans, for their part, showed no mercy. Three years into the siege, when they toppled the walls, they fought through the city for seven full days. Every house had been fortified within the walls, and the Romans needed to take them all one by one. In the end, the city was torn apart and burned to the ground. An estimated 62,000 citizens died, and 50,000 more were enslaved. 6. Siege of Paris 1. Vikings are more well known for their raiding tactics than siege warfare, but that doesn't mean they never tried it. Back in the year 885, Viking forces laid siege to Paris for the better part of a year. They'd made a habit of attacking the city, which was not so well fortified or protected as it is today, and had come around for another attack in the hopes of either pillaging or being paid off. The French, having learned from past raids, had built new fortifications and were able to put up a fight this time. Plus, the Vikings had a habit of leaving to pillage elsewhere so the French could get resupplied. Eventually, Charles III paid the Vikings off, and, forced to drag their boats over land to leave, the Vikings never raided Paris again. 5. Siege of Paris 2 <laughs> Paris just can't stop being besieged. In 1870, France declared war on Germany after the various smaller German states came together to make a unified Germany. 
France was trying to flex their military might and maintain control of Europe, or as much control as they felt they already had, but it didn't go well. Napoleon surrendered at the Battle of Sedan and essentially ended the Second French Empire. The Third Republic was not interested in peace, but Germany proved too powerful, and within months, German forces had surrounded Paris. They were happy to surround the city and starve those inside out rather than risk lives in a direct attack. The result was that the French ate all the animals in the zoo, as well as cats and dogs. The French eventually surrendered, and French-German relations only got worse from there. 4. Siege of Ceuta Back in 1694, Moroccan forces began what was known as the Thirty Years Siege against the Spanish-holed city of Ceuta in northern Africa. Don't worry though, that was just a name. The actual siege was only 26 years. Sultan Ismail bin Sharif was looking to consolidate his powers in the region and had managed to force most Europeans out. The only major stronghold in the area was the fortified city of Ceuta on the coast. The longest siege in history proved to be mostly unsuccessful as the Moroccans took the city in 1720, but Spanish reinforcements arrived and a second siege began. That lasted until 1727 when the Sultan died and the Moroccans gave up. 3. Siege of Vicksburg One of the most significant battles of the Civil War, the Siege of Vicksburg is often overlooked in favor of the Battle of Gettysburg, which was just one day earlier. In this battle, Ulysses S. Grant had trapped Confederate forces in the town of Vicksburg, Mississippi back in 1863. When Grant realized that taking the city would be too hard, the Union forces were ordered to dig trenches and commence with the siege. The siege lasted 40 days and saw the Union Army digging under the city and mining it from below. The Confederate Army held out as long as they could, but they were outnumbered and short on supply, and thus surrendered on July 4th. Taking the city allowed the Union to maintain control of the Mississippi River for the rest of the war. 2. Siege of Leningrad Arguably one of the most horrifying sieges in history, World War II's Siege of Leningrad saw to what brutal depths humanity can sink in times of war. Nazi forces had met much resistance from the Soviets, and so they launched Operation Barbarossa, which included a sneak attack on the industrial city. The Germans weren't trying to take the city. The siege was the goal. It lasted from September 1941 until January 1944. Barely any supplies reached the city the entire time, and it's believed at least one million people, nearly all civilians, died, along with a staggering number of soldiers. The lack of food pushed many of those who remained to cannibalism, and over 2,000 people were arrested for that crime. 1. Siege of Megiddo The Battle of Megiddo holds a special place in the history of warfare because it was the first thoroughly documented battle that ever took place. During the 15th century BCE, the Egyptian pharaoh Tutmos III led his forces against the Canaanites in a coalition of rebellious city-states in what is now modern-day Palestine. The battle became a siege as the Canaanites retreated to the city of Megiddo and the Egyptian forces held them in the city for months. The battles were fierce and the pharaoh himself fought on the front lines with Egyptian charioteers causing serious damage to enemy forces. Once the siege began, the Egyptians cut off all supply lines and for seven months the city held, but starvation finally won over. The besieged army begged for mercy, and the pharaohs spared them in exchange for their loyalty. So, I don't really have a question for that, because sieges aren't really cool, so I don't want to say what's the coolest siege you ever know. Um, so, what are some other sieges throughout history we may have missed? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell, join our Discord. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.